I'm in a town in Normandy that houses a famous 11th century tapestry that depicts the 1066 Norman invasion of England. The town is also known for its cathedral and medieval center. I'm Sam Garza. Join me as I visit Bayou. Bayou is a northern town located in France's Normandy region. The town sits along the Och River and is 10 kilometers from the English Channel coast. My first site to visit in Bayou was the Baron Girard Museum of Art and History. The museum is located in a former bishop's 11th century palace and it provides visitors with solid information about Bayou's rich history. Located just a few feet from the museum is the historic Bayou Cathedral. The cathedral was consecrated in 1077, 11 years after the Norman conquest of England in 1066 by William, the Duke of Normandy. In the past, the Bayou Tapestry would be displayed in the cathedral once a year, but is no longer housed here. In the courtyard between the museum and cathedral is a large plain tree known as La Ave de Liberty, or the Tree of Liberty, planted in 1797. No visit to Bayou is complete without viewing one of the most treasured artifacts in Europe, the Bayou Tapestry. Here's a quick synopsis of what the tapestry depicts and what it's about. William, the Duke of Normandy, or William the Bastard, some called him at the time, invaded England in 1066 to take away what he considered his rightful throne, which Edward the King, before, his, before he died, entrusted the throne of England to William. Harold at the time kind of usurped the throne after Edward died and took it away from William. So he invades England in 1066. They meet at the Battle of Hastings and William defeats Harold to take the throne of England. So it depicts what transpired up until that point. It, it depicts the Battle of Hastings and the defeat of Harold and how William, the Duke of Normandy, became William the Conqueror. Near the Bayou Museum is the Bayou Broidery. I visited the highly talented Chantel James, who is a specialist of ancestral embroidery of the 11th century, which was used to embroider the Bayou Tapestry. Chantel offers several quality products and also workshops. Visit her website to learn more about her and the Bayou Broidery. I'm at the British Cemetery here in Bayou. Now, even though no battle took place in Bayou, several battles in the area around Bayou took place. And since no bombing occurred in Bayou because the Germans fled on June 6th, the morning of June 6th, the Germans fled the city and no bombing or no bombing raids took place in Bayou as compared to Caen. So the infrastructure was still here in place in the city. So several of the casualties or mostly all the British casualties were brought here to the city to the hospital. And that is why there's a massive grave uh, here in the city for British soldiers. Now, even though it's a British cemetery, there's also uh, soldiers from New Zealand, Australia, Poland, French, and also ca Canadian soldiers that are buried here. Now, a lot of people are not very comfortable with cemeteries, 
but what took place here during World, World War II is part of the history of Normandy and part of the history of Bayou. So I come here this morning to give my respects to those soldiers and sailors who gave the ultimate sacrifice during World War II. Across the road from the cemetery is Bayou's Museum of the Battle of Normandy, where you will learn all the details about Operation Overlord and military operations during the summer of 1944. The Normandy region is famous for its cider and calvados. I paid a visit to the popular Le Connu Francois. I ordered La Raoul, which is three different aged Calvados and different samples of cider. I couldn't have been more happy when I left, and I'm sure you will be too. Normandy is also famous for its cheeses, so I visited a local cheese bar or fromagerie, L'Etabli. I selected a few local cheeses paired with a local apple cider. On Saturdays, you can visit the local market in Plaza San Patrice. There are dozens of venues, including some Calvados options. The Catalan seemed to be the popular spot. The locals were lining up to satisfy their hunger. very grateful to have had the chance to return to Bayou after so many years. The town can't wait for you to visit. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful city of Bayou. Please like and share this video. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube and of course our Instagram page. Thanks again for watching and remember spark some joy when you travel.